I'm going to be comparing all these cordless impacts. So these are all brushless. Um, over here we got the Milwaukee Fuel M12 38. This is a stubby with a 4.0 battery. Next we got a uh, Milwaukee Fuel uh, 18 volt. This is a mid torque with a 5.0 battery. And then we got a 20 volt DeWalt cordless with a 5 amp hour battery too. So this is the newest one. This one has the least amount of use. This one and this one have probably about the same amount of use on it. Um, this one has been used at home a lot more. And this one and both of these ones are used at work. Um, so this one right here, it's rated at 250 foot pounds. This one is rated at 600. And then this one is 150. Um, so over here, I got this set up. So I'm gonna be torquing this down and then uh, seeing how good they take it off. So I'm gonna start by torquing it to 100 foot pounds. Okay, so I decided to start at 80 foot pounds actually. So we're gonna torque this to 80 foot pounds. And we're gonna be starting off with the uh, stubby M12 with a full battery. And we're gonna see if it can take this 19 millimeter nut off that is torqued at 80 foot pounds. Okay, it did that, no problem at all. Now we're gonna be using the 18 volt Milwaukee with a full battery. This should be no problem. Okay, now let's move on to the DeWalt. All right, so here's the DeWalt with the full battery. And that was also no problem. So we're gonna step it up to 120 foot pounds now. Okay, here we go. So we got it at 120 foot pounds and we're gonna be using the M12. Here we go with the 18 volt Milwaukee. No problem at all. So let's move on to the DeWalt now. All right, here we go with the DeWalt at 120 foot pounds. So, so far, I think that the, the DeWalt and the M12 are pretty comparable. Um, the 18 volt Milwaukee is by far doing the best. All right, so I got it torqued down to 180 foot-pounds now. So we're going to start out with the M12 and see if it can take this off. Okay, so here we go with the 18 volt at 180 foot-pounds. So this shouldn't be too much of a problem for it. Okay, so here we're gonna go with the DeWalt at 180 and see if it can take this off. I'm um, I'm thinking it's not gonna be able to. We got a full battery still, so let's see what happens. And unfortunately, the DeWalt wasn't able to take it off. So now we're gonna, the DeWalt is eliminated. So we're going to be comparing the two Milwaukee's. Um, we're going to put it at 200 foot pounds now and see if the uh, 12 volt can get it off. All right, so I got it torqued to 200 foot pounds now. It's a little scary thinking it might break when I'm torquing it that much, but here we go with the 12 volt. Still got a full battery. So let's see if it can take this off. It's rated at 250 foot pounds, so if Milwaukee is, isn't is lying, then it should be able to take this off at 200. And it was able to take it off. I'm actually impressed by that. So I'm going to try the 18 volt. That shouldn't be a problem. Then we're going to bump it up to 220. All right, so here we go with the 18 volt at 200 foot pounds.
All right, so we got it torqued to 220 foot-pounds. Um, I'm gonna hold this thing down. If it doesn't take it all off right away, I'm gonna hold it down for maybe 20 seconds, if that's what I gotta do. So uh, let's see what this thing can do. It is rated at 250, but I am surprised it was able to take it off at 200 foot pounds. Took it a minute, but um, check the torque on it. And this is gonna be the last one. So let's see how easy it is for the 18 volt to take it off. So after those three tests, the clear winner is the 18 volt mid torque Milwaukee fuel. Um, the second place is the 12 volt Milwaukee stubby 3 8 impact. Um, and then third place is the DeWalt 20 volt. Uh, all three of these options are really good though. Um, if you're looking for the cheapest one that gets the job done, the DeWalt is definitely the way to go. If you're looking for something that's compact and not too pricey, then this 12 volt is the way to go. I would definitely recommend this. This one gets a lot of use at work and it held up pretty good so far and it's still running strong. And then if you aren't really worried about cost and are dealing with tighter stuff, bigger bolts, um, this is definitely the one to get. It's definitely the most powerful one of the three. Uh, after the three tests, the nut got pretty much destroyed. It's all beat up. But yeah, I'll have product links to all three of these in the description. And um, yeah, so that's going to be it for today's video. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos like this.